What's going on guys? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. It's out! Ladies and gentlemen, it is finally here. American Farming. I've been waiting so long to show y'all some of these things in this game. So, what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna go ahead and spin it up, show y'all what y'all need to see. Um, we're gonna go ahead and take y'all actually through. This is a how-to slash information video. But this is also like a first look. I have loaded up the game test to make sure everything looks good. Just to make sure everything looked plumb and fine and dandy. So, we had the best video outcome. So, let's go ahead and get directly on into this. When you first First load up the screen you go ahead and hit the start and then you will choose what save game we'll look at that save game here in a minute you'll choose new game and this is where you'll make your choice we're going to go ahead and break this down just a little bit so what this looks like here you can do silage with the cows or with pigs you can do corns beans or wheat whichever one of those you choose is what you'll get to do so for this one we'll go ahead and tap this you'll get a good view of the farm here which this is the fun part yes you get to take an actual decent look of the farm what i've seen this actually looks really professionally done i'm excited to actually sit here and play this for all of you guys and so we'll go ahead and actually get on in here start loading the map I went ahead early on and loaded up into a save game as y'all saw a couple of them. I went ahead and got the DLCs. So, customize your character. This is where you'll customize your character screen. You can customize your appearance here. Okay, we'll hit next. When you finish customizing your character, press save to continue your adventure. So from here, ladies and gentlemen, I will say there is some premium content already out as of course Grant did say in his videos, there's some premium content out. Anything right here that does not have like this little golden or purple border around it, I think is all available to be put on so like the stars this over here like all this fun stuff it's all part of different packs i do recommend buying these these are fun especially cornhead so i think what we're going to do we're just going to customize our own character so let's go with cornhead shoes kind of like these these this is what we're going with now these right here are not out yet but they should be out here pretty soon short oh kind of like those like an actual working pants regular blue jeans jeans i like these they, they look really good um so we're gonna go here oh this is where you'll find like the majority of like your outfits or just like your normal t-shirts want to support your men and women so what we're gonna do actually we're gonna go up here i think we'll put on some good old camo go here to the beard oh get a full beard yeah <laughs> gotta go with the chops we can color our hair any color you know what let's go with that so you got three different faces on. So this is the first one, second one, third one. I kind of like the third one. So you do not have any glasses to start with unless you buy the DLC. So you got some normal shades. Yeah, let's go with some pet vipers. That's some good one to go with. That should be what we're going with, actually. Corn man. Oh, he looks strong. So I did forget to show y'all this back on the other thing. You can choose men or women. There is those options. I did not select those because I forgot to choose them. Let's go ahead and continue with the tutorial. If you do not want the tutorial, I highly recommend at least reading it one time to go over it. But if you do not want the tutorial, it I do not need tutorial. Continue with tutorial. And that will, by the way, pop up every time you make a new save game. No matter what, it will always pop up. This is the calf barn. Cows will produce here. Keep them fed with cattle feed. So I guess that means there's like some type of feed that we have to feed them or mixture. I will, of course, get into that more here in a second. And they will keep reproducing. So basically, what I'm understanding is this is not where you'll mainly store them. We'll have to find out a little bit more here in a second. And let's move on to the pasture feeder calves and cattle can be moved here to the pasture to graze i don't think it means you need to actually keep them 100 percent fed all the time but they'll still be gaining weight so you won't lose none of your percentage while you're doing it the pasture will provide food at 50 percent growth rate so that means no matter what if you put the cows in this pasture they should always continue growing to make the cattle gain weight faster add more feed so basically you want a fast growing cow feed them so let's move on to the next thing of course, we're getting to planting. This is my favorite part. You're actually getting closer to playing the actual game. This field has second tillage pass and is ready for planting. But what I'm taking guess here, there's probably two types of equipment you really need to cultivate and plant with. We'll kind of look at that a little bit more here in a little bit. So this is the harvesting. This corn harvest is ready to be harvested using a wagon to transport the grain when the combine is full. We'll take a look at that here in a minute. I wonder like how this all works. I don't really know a whole lot about this. I can't lie. Let's all be honest here. We all know this is site grain. Store your corn here. You can dry it also. So move on. Feeder stores. This is where you'll turn your chaff into cattle feed on this specific farm. So now we're going to head all the way over here. Livestock market. All livestock can be purchased or sold at the market. That's good to know. So the co-op grain can be sold here. Feed, fertilizer, bale, and animal feed can also be purchased at the co-op. That is good information to know for the future. Co-op fill point. Feed and fertilizer both can be purchased here. 
dealership equipment can be purchased here access to the dealership can be in person or can be through the global shop icon basically so these blue markers are called your hints so these if you have any questions about what you're currently doing go up to them and hit those little blue menus and they will pop up with the menu and it'll show you what you're doing and there you are enjoy the game and remember ladies and gentlemen the help menu there is if you ever get stuck we're in we're alive so these are the plots you own first you own field eight of course you own the main farm and then you own field nine so that is your basic starting field Field nine pre comes ready to be harvested so it's ready to rock and roll field eight is of course ready to be planted let's actually go over there and take a look at the planting process because we do need to take a look at all the tractors and all the fun stuff right out the gate so we got to walk up to here and actually ladies and gentlemen you can switch to first person so we have here an international Hanna 066 and this is a beautiful tractor i just want to give attention to detail right here like ladies and gentlemen look at the massive amount of detail that they have done here on this like this is amazing to me you have your case ih 955 planter i wonder where i've seen this for so we gotta quit playing around here we actually gotta get directly into planting and actually start playing this thing right for a few seconds then we gotta switch over to the other farm so these little two arrows that go back and forth like this that you see on the screen that is how you unfold the planter and of course you go over here you can set it down so you set it down and start going now you can see i'm actually starting to plant but actually if you hit this little worker up here you have something i've never seen in a game before headland rows rows and headlands only let's pick headland and rows so what this is automatically going to do the ai worker will do your headland passes for you and do your normal rows and you'll never have to touch it throughout the entire process you can actually leave it here and it will do headland rows for you like it should also look at this dynamic grounding to a degree like that they have done an amazing job with this so far let's go ahead and hit okay so we can show you one of the icons so this right here basically it'll pop up with this and it will show you you what you need to do you can read information about it not going to go through all those right now today if you want to go through them by yourself got your grain silo here this is where you pour in and actually you take it out over here so you could pour it out here and it goes in over there one thing i do love is i love this right here the fact that they're able to get stuff like that in here okay sorry got it quit getting distracted directly onto the equipment come on let's go okay so we gotta get into the tractor now for what i know you can only have two ai workers in the game at any given time so you can sit here and go around with it or you gotta get a little bit up into the field a little bit more and then hit your headland passes and let her go you'll sit here and do your headlands until she fills up this is actually a really nice machine so you have the myers back there with the extra chopper itself so actually this is perfect time to show y'all another little neat thing if you hit this little up button up up here you can cycle through your tractors which this is another tractor we should get out here and kind of look at it a little bit better this right here is a farm all this is definitely the older tractor it's, it's here meant to pick up the bales of course which these bell controls are very interesting i do kind of enjoy the way they were set up you do have to get used to them though it does take a few seconds but once you get used to them it's not that difficult at all and actually ladies and gentlemen you'll come over here and we'll go ahead and show y'all you'll take this actually over here into the fin itself and actually unload it directly into there so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna leave this here for a second and let's go ahead and take the truck to town by the way ladies and gentlemen while i'm getting into the truck here do y'all want to see a live stream this sunday on june just american farming and answering any and all questions that i have answers to so you can actually control like how fast you're going and if you don't want to go in ultra fast you can go like that or hit the button up there that's actually pretty cool and look inside the cab here which the inside cab view is like one of my favorites it makes you feel really immersive in how everything feels definitely something that i really do enjoy and by the way ladies and gentlemen there is the rcc building that was leaked in the trailers it is here i think they're gonna be doing more with it here pretty soon actually this is what your menu will look like when you go to buy your cattle or whatever you're trying to buy recommend buying feeder cows buy only six of them your mother pen can only fit six feeder cows so don't buy more of them you don't need them plus ladies and gentlemen if you want to know the best way to find out how to make money in american farming wait for this weekend i got several videos coming up on what is the best way to make money so it's as simple as this you can fit six mother cows which this is what they are and there you go this is your feed mixer which you just take out of here and it automatically turns it into feed and this over here is in fact your this so let me go ahead and transfer over to the other save game we'll get on into that as well Alrighty, we are back here at the main loading screen. Let's go ahead and hit that, load in. I'm actually just going to kind of skip through this a little bit. We will show this. I think, the yeah, the customizations are the exact same. So choose whatever you would like. Uh, You know what? I like the beanie. I like the on the first beanie. We'll go with that. So a lot of these don't really, oh, 
There ain't no beard, of course. You have three different women that you can choose from. And you can, of course, choose many different colors. We'll choose that one. I do not need a tutorial for this one. But basically, this is your starting farm that you start with right here. So we scroll in here. So you start with field 30 and 31, which, as you see, really decent sized fields. So this is like your main money making farm. If you want to make a lot of money at the start, I would recommend starting with this field through and through. So that's the mother pin barn. So that's where like your mother pigs would be. And this must be your actual main pig barn i don't think you can go inside of it yeah you can't go inside of it but of course you can still get out your important stuff like your little manure over here and load and unload your pigs like you should be able to so the pigs eat direct corn so you get yourself a combine case ih 2144 axle flow now this is also paired with a good old case ih corn header it is a beautiful combine overall ladies and gentlemen i know you're gonna hear me say beautiful when, when i talk about case ih but ladies and gentlemen it's just honestly a really good game i'm really happy that grant was able to get a hold of case ih and be able to have them in and it's just as simple as you put it down and go now i will say this look at these custom corn textures this is just wonderful in my opinion for equipment let's just go ahead and ramble through the equipment real fast you have your case ih farm all your combine your starting truck uh you'll have a actual gooseneck you will have a kills bro on this one and you'll have of course the disc and header so on and so forth that was your main corn field over there and so this of course is your starting planting farm this right here shouldn't be that bad for you why don't you jump on into here unfold her drive her up on in here go ahead and start her doing some rows this here is your kills bro this is a nice wagon of course y'all see me using it all the time this is your unbranded spreader fertilizer and of course you got this over here with your cultivation and ladies and gentlemen that's kind of just your main stuff now of course i didn't go through as much detail this farm because this is actually going to be the farm i'm starting a playthrough on today there is actually a second upload coming out today believe it or not i know we're risking the biscuits out here but that's just what we're doing we're gonna be putting out that second post to kind of give it time to meddle and do what it does all right ladies and gentlemen we'll see you in the next one peace